So, your code looks like this, or maybe this. And maybe you want to make your code look a little bit better. Maybe something like this, or even, or something like this. And you might want to make your code look a little bit like this. Let's see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so let's start off with what you probably have so far, which is the light mode version of this, or perhaps the dark mode version. I'm just going to start off from the light mode and show you guys how to change it to dark mode. And then we're going to look at changing the colors of the code to make it look far better than what it currently does. Okay, so let's, um, let's first head up to file and let's go to studio settings and you'll be taken to studio itself. And first of all, we're going to go to uh, Studio and Theme, and we'll just do Dark. Wait for that Apply. Okay. So now for some of you, this is what you will have so far. You will already know how to make it, it a dark screen. So yeah, so that's what we have so far. And now I'm going to show you guys how to actually change this color to look even better. Obviously, I have my, my color preset saved. I'll just show that to you guys now. This is probably what we're aiming for. Uh, this is it, yep. See, this here is what I have. This is my personal favorite right here, this color. I think it personally looks great. Uh, it fits well, it pops. Uh, yeah. So let's make something a little bit like this. So I'm gonna change it back to the default, like it was, uh, default. So for a lot of you, this is what you're going to uh, have. Actually, no, you're going to have custom. Yeah, you're going to have this where your int values and your bool values are, are set to yellow, which I think is kind of ugly. I liked it when it was set to red and uh, blue. But uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is again, come back up to file and studio settings. And then we're going to, instead of clicking custom or anything like that, Scroll down and you'll see these uh, sets of colors right here. I'm just going to move that over there. So these here are all of the colors for this, for the code. Like, see, uh, let's find a function color is obviously red-ish. See, that's the color right there, function. That's a keyword. Uh, we've got local, which is red as well, because that's a, that's a keyword or something like that. So we can change what color these uh, look like. And we can even change the background color on our on our code editor. So let's do that first. Let's change our background color before we mess around with uh, with any of this. So up the top here, near, uh, near I have mine on custom. Up the top here, we're gonna have something that says background color. So this is gonna be the background on our code. So if we set this, maybe I'll just show you, that looks absolutely terrible. But um, yeah. So this is your background color here. Uh, if you want, let's say you want something like a, a nice little, like a little blue. And we'll bring that right down to be nice and dark, just like my favorite one. Um, I don't know if you, you can, you can change this to whatever you want, but just right now, as you can see, I already think this looks quite a bit better. Um, I don't know, up to you. But yeah, so I think this is already an improvement, just changing your background color. It just looks a bit better. Uh, selection color. So that is basically when you select a line of code. So let's just change it to just a little, little bit of an orange. And uh, let, me, uh, let me close that. See, so when you highlight some code, it will come up as that color. So currently I've got it set to orange. So now it's showing me all that code that's been highlighted in orange. So let's go back to file. Um, studio settings, uh, operator color, number color, string color. So obviously if you follow my tutorials, you know what these are, strings, numbers, um, ball values, and things like that. We've got nil, we've got, um, yep, we've got function, we've got self, we've got lure, uh, keywords, everything like that. So let's go back up to the top here where we were before, uh, selection background color. Let's do, uh, let's make it. I don't know, um, I don't know, what should we make it? We'll make it blue, I guess, yep. So that should, I'll show you that in a minute. Let's do number color. Personally, I like to put number color as a, a blue as well. So let's make that, 
let's make that turquoise blue uh, let's do string color is equal to this one that's generally the best green that's my favorite green bordering on blue uh, comment color comments uh, that's again that's a really easy one just make it blue like this it's quite nice I think see already that looks far better uh, keyword color so keyword is like local uh, function for uh, if else end things like that all those oh, yeah, return and things like that so we're just going to leave that as is because I like that color um, you can change it if you would like error color can stay as red I'd say warning color will make we'll make that yellow yeah let's make warning color yellow uh, let's do let's do a uh, built-in function color so a built-in function is basically um if I minimize this a built-in function is like peers see up there you can see it's color already or uh, tween info or print or print and things like that just these uh just these little um yeah so oh, an enum we've got C frame we've got table table remove table uh, insert things like that so let's um let's make let's leave, actually let's leave that as blue I think I, I think blue looks good for those okay um, let's go down a bit let's do what do we have here we have keyword color when we have ah so ball color let's make the ball color the same as let's make it the same as the function so to do that we're gonna come down here and get this color from function we're just gonna control C and we're gonna do control V okay so now if we just put enter yep that's gonna change that color uh, for nil I'm gonna do the same as well because that's a keyword as you can see the appropriate changes have been made to our code and already it looks far better than it did before so that's how our code looks so far um, I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna leave it as is like this you guys can make it how look however you want obviously the way I showed you to uh, mess around with it and things like that change the color of whatever you'd like but uh, yeah so again file studio settings remember to change the between light and dark mode it goes you go studio and you go dark down the theme um if you do light uh that may not work out in your favor as you can see right there um so put it back to dark i'm gonna leave mine on my favorite one which is extra one where i i changed this so don't don't try and get extra one if you want if you like this because this i did this i spent hours making mine Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you found this helpful, perhaps leaving a like on the video, maybe even subscribing if you're into this sort of stuff and some of my content and things like that. But uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so very much for watching again uh, and see you next time.